Hi guys, let me tell you today about a new ICO project called iTrue. Their main goal is to empower each individual to have control over their personal data, how it is used and how to profit from it. The iTrue platform enables developers to build solutions centered around users' security, privacy and safety. And iTrue is a platform with microservices that can be used by enterprises and users. The platform is therefore a blockchain as a service solution. It can be used by companies and developers to authenticate their users or to build their own blockchain network with a built-in authentication system. As you can see, we are already on their page at itrue.io. One of the first things you can do here is to check out their white paper and I, en I encourage you very much to do that. It is a rich source of information about the project, business model, problem that they are trying to solve, and the team and advisors. It is crucial to know this kind of things when you consider to spend your money on any ICO. You can also visit their social media sites such as Facebook, Twitter or Telegram group. And the teams keep it up to date, so uh, it's a best way to follow them day by day. But what is the main issue that drives the idea? There is actually more than one problem. Having a standard password is unsafe. Forcing users to use complicated passwords makes us too lazy that we either use weak passwords or write down strong passwords somewhere unsafe. And when authentication data is stored on a central server, this can easily be brought down or stolen. Also, the plastic or debit cards are expensive and unsafe for the environment. In 2017, more than 35 billions of plastic cards were produced and together it cost more than 20 billion dollars per year. Doesn't it feel unnecessary? So uh, let's check some statistics to back it up. Did you know how many users in the US feels that their biometric data is endangered? 49%. It is almost half of the population. Moreover, even 35% of the Americans does not feel safe with their banks having access to those informations. I personally don't understand this completely. Your face is something you show every day on the streets, but uh, no one ever shouts out loud their account passes and even if everyone knows your face it won't be that easy to stole it. Using cashless payment methods is easy and, every, and very convenient, however banks are already exploring or even implementing biometrics as a way to authenticate users. Let's see now what the company presented as a solution for those problems. <coughs> Biometrics are a faster and more secure system for authentication uh, and a user's unique iris and hand vine pattern grants instant and seamless authentication without the need to remember another password. The decentralized platform reduces the risk of security breach and failure. There is no single point of failure and records cannot be altered without the proper blockchain consensus. And, of course, a cardless solution that doesn't rely on gadgets will significantly reduce e-waste. It is all possible because iTrue does not rely on devices or plastic cards for its services, providing eco-friendly solutions. Okay, so let's see what's below. The iTrue token ecosystem. Let's stay here for a while. What are the iTrue major features? The platform will never sell its users' data. What it does is allowing users, clients and developers to get tokens by sharing and utilizing data within the platform. It, is also, enabled, uh, the, uh, it also enabled the developers to build applications that can take advantage of microservices, such as identity verification and authentication. But you don't have to worry because users will be informed about every single request for their data. Even more, they will be rewarded when they participate in data sharing activities. 
Their authentication and biometric service, which is a primary feature, can be used by third-party developers as the basis of projects. The iTru platform wants to integrate features, services and solutions of other developers and create the iTru platform that will be able to integrate their own features and solutions into the iTru platform. If you want to know more about the iTru from other experts, you can click on one of these bubbles here and widen your knowledge. So what are the benefits of iTru? The iTru community is split into three groups, individual users, business users and developers. Individual users are granted the high level of privacy, which results from the decentralization and a full ownership. Also, the biometric authentication is the easiest way to access your account and you will never have to remember any passwords, etc. Individual users can also earn by helping to provide data to clients or business which, uh, which will be in need. However, business users benefit by these four features. Automation, compliance with regulation, data exchange and the customized applications. I'll expand those terms for you right now. First, automation. Blockchain as a service is equipped with an authentication platform. It helps the business to uh, the business clients mostly by reducing the need to build it from scrap, especially when it comes to ID verification. Second, compliance with regulation. Before any data can be exchanged, the tokenized data sharing mechanisms will always inform its users and will have to ask for authorization. Three, data exchange. The exchanging of data can be done between two contractors, the ones who can traditionally collect and process data and the one who's holding his own data. This kind of data sharing will of course still require users permission. Next, customized applications. I don't think there's anything to explain here, so uh, let's move to the last group, the developers. Time to market and scalability. The iTru new type of storage provides speed, security and accessibility. Also, if the developers wants to build their project or apps, etc., they're granted access to the iTru microservices. Of course, these apps will appear in the iTru marketplace for businesses and users. Besides, iTru's new type of storage also ensures speed, security and accessibility. Next, extensibility and Turing completeness. Furthermore, thanks to this platform, the developers can create their own microservices within the iTru and other devs can later take advantage of them if it turns out useful in building their own apps and services. What is also cool about it, they're building blocks that allows quicker design and deploy of enterprises or applications. Tokenized benefits. As a developer, there are few ways of how to get rewarded. You can get some tokens when other devs are building upon your microservice. And if, for example, you'll be more of an application developer, you'll get your tokens when others will be using your product or when someone will send a request to edit your work. These are truly such an amazing ideas. I think everything they've planned here is going to drive their platform to something really great. Users of this kind of project are motivated to do their best upfront because this is the way by which they can earn more money. And that is the beauty of this system. But okay, uh, let's go below for now. And here you can see why the iTru platform is better. I don't think I have to carefully comment it, but as it is shown here, the best of their competitors has only half of the provided features and that definitely means something for me. Um, okay, uh, if you go down even more, you'll see the token details. There will be 8 billion ITU tokens. The price is set at $0.01. Uh, all the unsold tokens will be burned by the smart contract. The minimum contribution is $100, which is 10,000 coins. On the pre-ICO, the discount is planned to be 30%. 
The first part of the ICO will slowly drop the discount from 30 to 15 percent and the second part of the ICO will drop it even more from 15 percent to 5. Below there is the token distribution chart. 22% will go to iTrue Foundation, 10% is planned for the team, but the advisors will get their own 7% here. And only 1% is predicted for the bounty and 16% 60% is intended for sale. Now, moving to the token allocation, 40% will go to marketing and business development. 12% for the legal issues, 8% will get the expenses on management and the last 40% for the research and development. I really think everything is nicely and fairly splitted on these charts. So finally, we are getting to my favorite part. Let's meet a few members of the amazing team. Jack Cheng. For more than a decade, Jack has been a pioneering leader in fintech asset management, entech and distributed ledger technologies. In 2015, he introduced innovative token payment products into Hong Kong to ignite mass adoption. Besides, Jack is a recipient of the global top 100 most influential marketing leaders in 2016 and is currently involved in industry associations such as the Beijing Zipark Blockchain Industry Alliance, Hong Kong Digital Asset Investment Association and Hong Kong CIO I and IT Professional Association. He's a co-author of the second edition China Blockchain Industry Development White Paper. He has over 15 years of experience in software, architecture and product development with expertise in payment gateways, building system, custom applications and blockchain integration. Anton has outstanding skills in math and solving of non-standard tech cases, technology vision and lead all aspects of architecture, software and product development. Mikhail Podlinev expert in project management, marketing, innovation and conflict resolution. With a master's degree in computer engineering, Mikhail has expertise in building solutions that include payment gateways, cloud platforms, mobile apps and affiliate programs for clients. Every person here has an amazing experience, not only the ones presented, but every worker and advisor. With those people in charge, I won't be worrying about anything in this project. If you go even further, past the partners, you will finally see the roadmap. I believe they will manage to achieve everything that they've planned here. With such experience and amazing idea, it has to be a major success. The whole project looks so interesting for me. The team really is very well trained and experienced to achieve what they've put in front of themselves. Their approach is fully professional, yet I can still feel that they're doing something out of their personal interest. And for me, that is greatly important. Okay, guys, uh, I'm afraid that's it for today's. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon and goodbye.